hello everyone welcome back to our channel in today's tutorial we are going to show you how to install pycharm first we need to download pycharm to do this open your favorite web browser and search pycharm and go to the official link of jframe website so i'm going to click here download pycharm once you are on the jbrains pycharm page you will see two different versions of the pycharm the community edition and the professional edition the community edition is free and offer basic feature while the professional edition requires subscription but come with additional feature if you are a student and have a college email address provided by your college then you can get a professional edition for free also this video is a part of flux web development and in a professional edition it offer web python development so we will be installing the professional edition click on a download button then start download open the pycharm installer welcome to the pycharm setup click next to continue so click next you can either choose the installation location of your choice or you can keep the default location and click next then here i will recommend you to tick on here and also here then click next install the installation may take few minute once it's complete you will see a screen that says completing the python setup You can reboot your PC now or you can reboot it manually later. Since I am recording this screen, so I will reboot my system later and click on finish. Then search Python on your Windows. Run. I assume that we are new to this Python. So I will tick on do not import setting. If you don't have a college email address, you can click on start trial, then log in with a JetBrain account. But if you have a college email address, then you can activate. For that, you have to first register, then sign up with your college email address, and you will get a student pack license for free. And it is valid for one year. After you sign up, click on login into jframe account now sign in and return to the ide here you can see the account has been linked now i can activate continue and guys this much for this tutorial if you found this video helpful please like share and subscribe to my channel and i will see you on the next tutorial bye bye